understand the gift. Right? Do you know that? Do you agree with that? There's people that don't understand gifts. We can have people that hurt us. Remember that Father the Grand Spirit we pray? And it can be your priest. We forgive them, and then we pray for them in tongues all the time. Because the Lord wants to baptize them because they're our spiritual shepherds, aren't they? And here we know they can have so much more if they just opened up their hearts. Well, hello, sleeping giant. What will happen if the priests get on fire? Watch out. Watch out. Then all the glory of God will come into the house because that's what he wants. You believe that? You believe that? We want that, don't we? We're hungry. You want to be a God chaser? Come chase God with me. I want to know where he's going. I want to be right behind him. I don't want to lose one ounce of what he's got. If he's throwing off his sweat, lay it on me. What is that? Amen. More and more, more and more. Don't be satisfied with this. This is just the beginning. This is the joy that you receive is only the beginning. Next time I see you, I expect you to be lighting up the whole room. We don't need the lights over here. Right? Because God gives us all different gifts, and they're made for us to share. Right? The book I told you about, John Cheryl, you can find it on Amazon. It's called They Speak With Other Tongues. <laughs> Do you? You better. Did anybody experience healings here that they didn't expect to get?
toward you for the times I thought you sent death, hardships, financial difficulties, punishments, and sickness into our family. Lord, I forgive myself for my sins, faults, and failings, for all that is truly bad in myself, or all that I think is bad. I do forgive myself for any delvings in the occult, Ouija boards, horoscopes, seances, fortune telling, lucky charms, for taking your name in vain, for not worshiping you, for hurting my parents, for getting drunk, for taking dope, for sins against my purity, for adultery, for abortion, for stealing, for lying. I am truly forgiving myself today. Thank you, Lord, for your grace at this moment. Let's take just a minute and really thank the Lord for his grace at this moment. I truly forgive my mother. I forgive her for all the time she hurt me, resented me, was angry with me, and for all the time she punished me. I forgive her for the time she preferred my brothers and sisters to me. I forgive her for the time she told me I was dumb, ugly, stupid, the worst of her children, or that I cost the family a lot of money for the time she told me I was unwanted, an accident, a mistake, or not what she expected, I forgive her. I forgive my father. I forgive him for any non-support, any lack of love, affection, or attention. I forgive him for any lack of time, for not giving me his companionship, for his drinking or arguing and fighting with my mother or the other children, for his severe punishments for desertion, for being away from home, for divorcing my mother, or for any running around, I do forgive him. Lord, I extend forgiveness to my sisters and brothers. I forgive those who rejected me, lied about me, hated me, resented me, and competed for my parents' love. Those who hurt me, who physically harmed me, for those who were too severe on me, punished me, or made my life unpleasant in any way. I do forgive them. Lord, I forgive my spouse for lack of love, affection, consideration, support, attention, communication, for faults, failings, weaknesses, and those other acts or words that hurt or disturb me. Jesus, I forgive my children for their lack of respect, obedience, love, attention, support, warmth, understanding, their bad habits, falling away from the church, and bad actions which disturb me. My God, I forgive my in-laws, mother, father, son, or brother-in-law, and other relatives 
by marriage, for their lack of love, words of criticism, thoughts, <coughs> actions, or omissions that injure and cause pain. I do forgive them. Please help me to forgive my relatives, my grandmother and grandfather, who may have interfered in our family, been possessive, or my parents, who may have caused confusion or turned one parent against the other. Jesus, help me to forgive my co-workers who are disagreeable or make life miserable for me, for those who push their work off on me, gossip about me, won't cooperate with me, try to take my job. I do forgive them. My neighbors need to be forgiven, Lord, for all their noise, letting their property run down, not tying up their dogs to run through my yard, not taking in their trash cans, being prejudiced, and running down the neighborhood. I do forgive them. I now forgive my clergy my congregation, and my church for all their lack of support, pettiness, bad sermons, lack of friendliness, not affirming me as they should, not providing me with inspiration, for not using me in a key position, for not inviting me to serve in a major capacity, and for any other hurt they may have inflicted, I do forgive them today. Lord, I forgive all professional people who have hurt me in any way. Doctors, lawyers, policemen, hospital workers, for the things that they did to me, I truly forgive them today. Lord, I forgive my employer for not paying me enough money, for not appreciating my work, for being unkind and unreasonable with me, for being angry or unfriendly, for not promoting me, and for not complimenting me on my work. And you know, guys, just take a minute. Really, the Lord will remind you of things in your past that you have just held a grudge against. That's a root of bitterness. Pull it out. Lord, I forgive my school teachers and instructors of the past, as well as the present, for those who punished me, humiliated me, insulted me, treated me unjustly, made fun of me, called me dumb, stupid, made me stay after school. Lord, I forgive my friends who have let me down, lost contact with me, do not support me, were not available when I needed help, borrowed money and did not return it, gossiped about me. Lord Jesus, I especially pray for the grace of forgiveness for that one person in life who has hurt me the most. I ask to forgive anyone who I consider my greatest enemy, the one who is the hardest to forgive, or the one who I said I would never forgive. Thank you, Jesus that I am free of the evil of unforgiveness. Let your Holy Spirit fill me with light and let every dark area of my mind be enlightened. Amen. Isn't that a powerful prayer?
If you come to Jesus through a relationship of logic, logic, you are never going to succeed. Did you hear me? Repeat it back to me. If you do not come, if you only come to a relationship with the Lord through logic, you are not going to succeed. Why do you think that's true? Any, any ideas?
has never seen me before, or my husband. And when we go to these places, they start prophesying to us about this great ministry that God has opened up and that God has given us all the desires of our heart. God has put us on rough places where we have stood against people. Well, you know, we do that all the time. And everybody who is there, Thank you. 